What's going on people, it's your main man Dame Drops back with another best and worst of restaurant series. I've been loving you guys, rocking with me the long way. This week we're gonna be focusing on Mexican cuisine. You guys have been hitting me in the comment section, you said, Dame, we wanna see Mexican, we wanna see Indian. So this week, you're getting that Mexican love, baby. All right, so I'm over here on Yelp, as per always, guys. And this time we're messing with a spot called Puerto Vallarta in Newington, Connecticut. They're over here rocking a four star, 202 reviews on this joint, 2385 Berlin Turnpike in Newington, Connecticut. All right, so a little different area on this one right here. I'm looking forward to the reviews just by looking at the foods. I mean, whoo, meat game is looking, it looks proper, it looks flavorful. The colors seem to be bursting at the seams. I want to get right into the reviews. This one right here is extra long. Review, so if you guys want to slide over to Yelp, you can go ahead and read it. I want to try big five-star joints, but a little less on the paragraph so we can get through the reviews and get right to the food, because that's what we're all here for, right? So we're going to start right here. Uh, 2018, first time here, stopped in on a Saturday night and was blown away. Wish I could give this place more stars. Service was amazing. Food quality and servings were perfect. Carlos was one of the best waiters I have ever had in my life. Simply perfect. It's almost as if they couldn't miss with that particular review. And shout out to Carlos for giving them such great service. Let's move into the next one. First, I want to say thank you to one of my elite Yelpers, Don P. Your recommendation of Puerto Vallarta. My mom wanted to try some authentic Mexican food. I must say they have really authentic Mexican ambiance and the food is delicious. More than you can ever eat in one setting. The beautiful Mexican decor, Alejandro. Oh, shoo. I know y'all heard me roll that joint. Ah, shut up. All right. Alejandro, our waiter, was excellent. He was well-rounded with the menu and drinks. I spoke with the manager of the restaurant to inform him of how delicious the food is and how close to Mexican authentic food. The salsa and nachos are so good and the salsa has a nice kick. If you're ever in the Hartford, Connecticut area, please make your way to Puerto Vallarta for some delicious food and banging eh, margaritas. I know I said we're going to the one in Newington and this one mentions Hartford, Connecticut. Let's take a look at the website because I believe they have more than one location. Yeah, 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 peep game. Middletown, Avon, Newington, that's the one we're going to because that's closer to me, Southington, all right? So they have a few different locations, but they're still ranking up there as one of the best authentic Mexican cuisine spots in the game right now. We're gonna read these real quick. We're gonna get up out of here. Slide over to Puerto Valera, Valarda. Valera, 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 all right, after that, it goes to a three-piece. Let's not stunt, let's not stunt. I'm not gonna say and act like it's a five all day banger. After that, it goes to a three-piece, then to a four-piece, then to a four-piece, then to a four-piece, which is probably updated, okay, it's updated. Four-piece with some food picks, four-piece, five-piece, five-piece. You know what time it is. Stop playing games with your boy. It's your main man, Dame Drops. You know how we get down, baby. We do this, we drop the best of every single Sunday. So even if you don't get the notification right here on YouTube for whatever given reason, you don't have the notification bell on, you're not liking the videos, YouTube is showing no love, whatever, just know every Sunday I drop the best of restaurants. Today, we're getting the best reviewed Mexican restaurant in my state. And that means on Tuesday, I'm gonna drop the worst reviewed Mexican restaurant in my state. Either way, you better bring your appetite. I'm hungry, you look hungry, let's go. What's going on, foodie fam? We are on our way. I'm gonna keep trying to pronounce it until I get it right. Puerto Vallarta. 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 Puerto, Puerto, Puerto Vallarta. And I believe, kind of saying it with the L's, but then I gotta remember, yo, this is a, a Spanish, yo. This is, this, is, this is Latin, man. This isn't my regular dialect. God, I gotta be able to 
understand that two L's is actually a Y. Prepare to bear right after half a mile. Dang, boo, you dumb loud today. Easy, mama. So, basically, puedo. You know what I'm saying? Vallada. Right? Vallada. Whatever, man. Hit me in the comment section below. Let me know if I'm just destroying the name of this restaurant altogether. You are approaching your destination. Okay, Mexican restaurant, baby. Oh, and they got a spot to eat outside. I like that. I like, it looks like it's closed, though. It looks like the spot to eat outside is closed. You have reached your destination. Thanks, Mama. Okay, people, I hope you brought your appetite today. It is your main man, Dame Drops, out here at 2385 Berlin Turnpike, Newington, Connecticut, at a spot called Puerto Vallada. All right, now we're talking about Mexican cuisine. So we're talking about something that's not exactly in my range of foods, which is my normal go-to. But because you guys put it in the comment section below as if this is what you would like to see, of course I had to look up the hottest fire on Yelp. This happens to be one of the highest rated locations, and we have a few, which is kind of crazy. But this is the most well known, so let's slide up over here. Let's see what Puerto Vallada has to offer as far as Mexican cuisine. I'm probably going to order a few dishes. I'm going to need the help of my foodie fam out there to educate me on things I do not know. I know flavors. I know what I like. I love some food. Let's go inside. They had the music going on the inside up over there. I did, again, I, I'm not here to ever disrupt business. You know, I want everything to flow as normal. I want companies to get their money as normal. I just want to come in and do my food review for the foodie fam. Authentic Mexican cuisine, baby. I hope you're ready for it. It's about to get crazy. It's about to go down. Now, what I decided to go with today, I have two separate dishes. My mole de pollo is braised skinless chicken in a sweet yet spicy peanut-based sauce with a hint of cocoa served with warm tortillas. Also, I got stir-fried Mexicano, which is sliced chicken breast, specially prepared with fresh mushrooms, onions, green peppers, cauliflower, zucchini, broccoli, carrots, and celery topped with melted cheese. What direction do I go? So we're going to start on our left-hand side up over here. Oh, stir-fry game, stir-fry game. <sighs> oh my goodness. Ooh, that chicken is tender. Oh, let me get some of that, that broccoli. And that rice is laying low below, beneath the surface. Oh, come on, come here, come here. Mmm. When I talk about tender chicken, cheesy tender chicken because of the cheese that's been melted on top. Zucchini, broccoli, cauliflower people. Like, I'm, you know, if you've been watching me for a while, you know I'm definitely stepping into a whole new realm with the veggies. I see carrots in here, I see onions in here, and I'm not afraid of any of it. I'm not afraid of any of it. I'm, I'm digging for it all, because at this point, I need all these flavors to attack me at once. Oh, mushroom, while I'm getting the, the rice, while I'm getting the zucchini, while I'm getting the chicken, I want it to attack me all at once so I could have that pure, authentic rush. Is this the official Mexican bite? If I had to trade in my fast food hat for any meal right now, the stir fry Mexicana would be that meal. This is amazing. Wow. It took this series for me to open my eyes and realize what is beyond the spectrum of great flavors in food. What is beyond, what is, what, what is it that everybody else is experiencing that I'm missing out on because I chose to stop. I chose to stop and just do fast food for entertainment and, and here it is. Here it is. Cheese, veggies, steamed as if they've been softened, softened to seduce your taste buds, your palate is to be seduced with these veggies and cheese. And just a hint of salt. I would spend the whole time eating this right here if I didn't have another plate. 
I know, I gotta go, I gotta go. I gotta go. I'm coming back. Oh, what was that? What, what was that? What'd you say? You said, Dame, do something with that tortilla. Don't play with it. Do something with it. All right, getting the rice in there, getting that chicken in there, definitely. Z zucchini's getting in. Come here, come here. Come here. We gotta get all that. They want the zucchini in there. Oh my goodness. They want the mushroom, they want the cauliflower in there. Get that big piece of cauliflower in there too. Stop playing with me. Fam, I ain't here to play with you. I'm here to feed you. Come here. And get a bite. Get a bite. Get a bite. Ba boom boom. Get a bite. Stop playing with me. Get a bite. <sighs> mm. Wild spelled backwards is still wild. The stir fry mexicano is definitely heavy. Heavy on my five all day banger. So many flavors. It's food that connects to the soul when you're stepping outside of the box of things you really don't know. This is a beginner. This is, this is what I call a beginner's plate. This is where you should start. And it's funny because I put the stir fry in the tortilla. The tortilla was meant for the mole de pollo. It was meant for this instead, but I, I did it with the stir fry. I'm probably, probably going to do it this too. Skinless chicken and peanut sauce. Mm-hmm. And y'all know I keep it 100% funky. The, the mole de pollo chicken, the way it was cooked with the peanut sauce, has more of a chew. It's, it wasn't as tender as my stir fry chicken platter that I had over there. It's still good. You're getting a light hint of that peanut flavoring. Sesame seeds. I want to go ahead and mix it up with a little bit of rice. Okay. The question becomes, just like with our chicken stir fry, should I actually take my mole de pollo, put it inside the tortilla, will, will it change the flavor? So we're gonna go ahead and give that a try. All right, once again, guys, I want you to go ahead and take a bite before I get a bite. Go ahead and get your little bite in there, get your little nibble in there. All right, okay. Okay, look. I'm still not in love. Um, I like it, I don't love it. That plate, straight three and a half. My chicken stir fry platter, five all day banger. My chips and salsa, extremely fresh, extra crisp when I took that first bite. Mind blowing, I got all my flavors, it was spicy, I'm excited about it. With my chicken stir fry, plentiful. A lot of veggies were going on right there with the chicken, right? And I could actually taste the hint of salt that was dashed in there to just kind of kind of bring out the flavors because when you have steamed veggies by themselves, it, it is what it is. It's a very bland taste. But if you season it just a little bit, just a little, now don't get crazy, but just a little bit, you could actually begin to appreciate that. Plus you already have the flavors coming through with the cheese anyway, right? So I love my chicken stir fry, five all day banger. Mo, mole de pollo, three and a half. Again, clean establishment, great customer service. I want to shout out the manager who actually came through. He saw my camera set up and he was like, you know, I heard earlier, oh, that truck is getting busy on me. <laughs> that he had heard earlier that I was talking about being out here on the patio just because, you know, the music wasn't as crazy. And he was like, even though my patio is not open, I'm going to have my guys set you up outside so you can do whatever it is that you need to do. I appreciate that. So much respect to the manager here at Puerto Vallada, Vallada in Newington, Connecticut. That's a lot of love right there. If you're new to the whole entire Mexican cuisine lifestyle, I would definitely recommend stopping here to make it happen. I want to thank every last one of you for rocking out with me the long way. I greatly appreciate you guys. Once again, Puerto, Puerto Vallada is over here in 2385 Berlin Turnpike, Newington, Connecticut. Whatever you guys would like to see next, please put it in the comment section below. If you enjoy this series, please hit it with a thumbs up. Lock it in by turning on that notification bell. Let YouTube know you want to see this series, you know, because I'm going to keep dropping it. I already gave you the best. Now it's time for me to give you the worst reviewed Mexican restaurant in my state of Connecticut. So expect that on Tuesday. And I hope you guys will just keep coming back, tuning in for more, man. I love doing the series. Whatever you guys want to see next is up to you. You got to let me know in the comment section. You got to let me know what you want to see next. Outside of that, baby, you know what time it is. Your main man, Dame Drops, and I'm only here to keep it super, super official. official.
<laughs> with every last one of you. I love you, baby. Be sure to tell someone else you love them, and I'm out of here. Hi.